Pokemon Go is a hit. I see people playing it everywhere I go. But thanks to that, some weird stuff has happened. Today, GameRanks brings you 10 crazy things that only happened thanks to Pokemon Go. Number 10, some teens in Missouri are actually using Pokemon Go in order to rob people. Now that's a dick move. Apparently they put down lures in areas where people wouldn't see a robbery happen, waited for people to walk in, and mugged them. Essentially, they believed people to be so distracted by the game that they would find these Pokemon, walk into the secluded area, and it wouldn't be that terribly tough to rob them. But apparently it's not too hard to get caught when you're using a game that tracks your position at all times in order to do your robberies. Now that's not why they were caught, they were actually caught because police followed them around doing this. But still, if they were a little more covert about it, they were still using an app that tracks your location. Doi! Number 9, the Holocaust Museum in Washington has put out a request, please stop playing Pokemon Go here. Now, it's a little bit understandable. The museum's communications director, Andrew Hollinger, said, Playing the game is not appropriate in the museum, which is a memorial to the victims of Nazis. Nazis aren't nice. Nobody likes Nazis. I don't like Nazis. And people are playing Pokemon Go non-stop and showing up just about everywhere in order to play it. For people who don't play it, city landmarks are known as Poke Stops. In other words, the places with the best Pokemon. It's not just the Holocaust Museum either. Apparently people are catching a fair amount of Pokemon at the September 11th Memorial, which, I mean, come on. Number eight, you see a lot of stuff about cops that, well, I wouldn't call savory. And it's nice to see people on Reddit posting things like, the cops were playing Pokemon Go with us last night. So I will say big thank you to Cody E 36 What's happening in this picture is lovely. Number seven, a person found a Pikachu on their brother's grave. This person's brother was an extremely big fan of Pokemon. His grave has a Pikachu on it. And when this person went to go visit their brother's grave, I'm guessing they're a Pokemon fan as well because they turned on Pokemon Go. And guess who was there? Pikachu. Clearly his brother's favorite Pokemon was there in an unintentional but yet very fitting tribute to his brother. Number six, the internet lost their shit when they found out somebody was playing Pokemon Go with a drone. You see, Pokemon Go makes you go outside and walk around and interact with the world in order to catch Pokemon. There's no way to play it from your couch. Or so we thought. A user by the name of Hyperion995 posted some images of his drone setup. He asked the internet, is this cheating? To which everyone replied, yes, it's cheating. Stop doing this now. Number five, professional Pokemon Go trainers are now advertising on Craigslist. Here's one of those ads by somebody going by the name of Gobat Chan. But it's not just trainers that are showing up on Craigslist. They're also showing up in the misconnections area. Although the ads are very amusing. You gotcha my heart with your Pokeball. Literally sounds like a bad line out of a 303 song from several years ago. Number four, a teenager came across a dead body in a river while playing Pokemon Go, and to my knowledge did not attempt to capture it. Sorry, I had to say it. She called the police who showed up very quickly and determined the body had not even been there for 24 hours, but couldn't determine whether they'd been murdered or it was a suicide. There's no word yet on whether 19-year-old Shayla Wiggins is still playing the game, but I mean, what are the chances of finding another dead body? Pretty low. Number three, a Pokemon Go addict was out playing the game when he asked somebody else if they wanted to battle, who then turned around and simply stabbed him in the shoulder. Now that sounds like the story, but that's not the story. The story is he didn't decide that he needed treatment right away. He continued playing Pokemon Go with a stab wound for a day. He did not get treated until the next day. When he went in for treatment, he got eight stitches. That's not an insignificant knife wound. I mean, luckily it wasn't a gun. That would be a dead person. Number two, a Pokemon Go player didn't just catch him all. He also caught somebody vandalizing a Chinese restaurant at 2 a.m., called 911, and police caught the perp. Guy was just randomly throwing rocks through the windows of a Chinese restaurant, which, you know, really cool. And although, like, it's kind of weird to be out at 2 a.m. catching Pokemon, it's much, much weirder to be out at 2 a.m. throwing rocks through restaurant windows. It turns out the man had been throwing rocks through several Asian-owned businesses in the area over the last few weeks. So good job, Michael Andrande of Eugene, Oregon. You caught yourself a racist, or at least a likely one. And finally, number one, and this is not entirely cool. A husband was playing Pokemon Go 
while his wife was in labor. Now, labor isn't something that happens immediately. It often takes a long time, and husbands often play on their phones while it's happening, but it's just kind of weird to publish an image from it. I mean, he got a Pidgey out of the deal, and his wife apparently supports his Pokemon lifestyle. He said as much in a comment on the picture, and that she drew the line at him wandering around the hospital searching for more, at least until the baby is out. Dude, like, this doesn't make you a bad person, but holy crap. There's a time and a place, and it's not while your wife is having your kid. Have you had any weird Pokemon Go experiences? I'd love it if you'd share them in the comments. I will definitely read all of them. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed to Game Ranks, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.